One of the great additions to the new version of Drone Comply is something called checklists. Basically, these are templates that you can add to various things, ranging from legal authorizations like your REOC, equipment, activities, groups, there might be different locations, and even down to individual pilots. So let's take an example of REOC. So under a REOC, you might have within your REOC that if you do a particular type of operation, you have to perform a certain number of checks before you can fly. So anything that your REOC might demand, you can make into a template and use on a job without having to rewrite those lines from the REOC every time you create the new job. Airframes is an interesting one because airframes will actually allow you to add a check to a particular airframe, particular drone, and once you've done that, uh, set that up on one drone, you can actually duplicate that or link it to the first drone. I'll give you an example. So that was on this Inspire. If I go to the next Inspire down, you can see that there's a little link icon here saying that this is linked to that first drone. And the advantage of that is once you've set up a checklist for a particular type of drone, make and model, you can actually reuse that checklist um, using this linking tool. If you change the checklist on the first drone that you set it up on, then the checklist will change on every other linked item. So that's the first great addition to Drone Complier, checklists.